Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. That's what I'm hoping is going to happen. Now, in order to be able to get in here without causing too many, without losing too much of this steam, I'm not going to be able to do that. I think we're just going to have to end up draining in a whole load more. So that steam's going to come out and it's going to sort of just go everywhere in here. Like, I've got masses of it in here at the minute. So we're just going to have to crack open one of the manual airlocks. So we're going to you. And I will take the lock off of that bad boy right there. And then I will go here, food, hydroponic farm tile. Right there. Right, do I actually need water to run to grow the wheeze warts? That's the next thing. Did I need water coming in here? Internal temperature must be between minus 60 and 95. So it's going to be too hot. But I'm hoping that it will keep it below 95. If I put in a massive load of wheezeworts, the temperature will stay below 95. It'll just basically it will just bring the temperature down just enough. Um, and then they want phosphorus in air, phosphorite, minus 4,000 grams per cycle. So what happens if they don't get fertilizer? Do they die? Do they uproot? What? Well, we'll we'll find out. Let's, let's put in a hydroponic farm in here. I've done this before. I have built hydroponic farms before, so I'm going to go uh, well, if I go up there, I've got that pipe in already, so I could put two in here, like that, right next to each other, like that, and then I'll leave a gap of three, like that. I will remove those. See, I don't think we need the temp shift plates in here. I think this is something that's not particularly useful in here, so we'll remove them. Uh, temp shift plate. How am I going to remove that? Bunker door. Blocks liquid and gas flow, maintaining pressure between the areas. I want to build a bunker door. I need 500 kilos of steel to do that. That would be pretty cool if I could build one of them. That bad boy right there. Yeah, but it won't let me. I don't, I don't have 500 kilos of steel. Uh, remove... Those and those. And then go and take plumbing, insulated pipe. That's being made out of granite, and that's going to run through there and through there, like that. Right. Ideal. Let's get them going. They're going to need to go and build this up, which means that, yeah, we got. A whole load of temperature in here. I'm hoping the wheeze warts will be the answer to this. And then we can finally fill this back up with water and leave it sealed. And it will, it will just keep doing everything that it's supposed to be doing. This in here is now working properly. We've got a cooling cycle going on in here. That's brilliant. I got water running in through here. It's dropping down through that bit. That's brilliant. This water up here, eventually something will happen with that. Um, it's nothing that I need to worry about just yet. I'll leave that bit there. Outer space. It's happening slowly. Like they are, they're slowly digging through this bit. And I've also got the regolith over here that I've asked them to go. But they haven't started building this yet. I'm still waiting on that. And I'm still waiting on these robo miners to be built. And the mesh tile up there to be built. So I've, I've got like... Bits of it done, but there's still quite a few bits of it that have yet to be finished. They have an awful lot of work still to do here. That's fine. Do I have any more printables ready yet? Where's my printables? Oh, he's, he's almost ready. He's in point three of a cycle. I have another printable. I've got the I've got sufficient power right now, and I've got sufficient water in here. We may even be able to turn off this pump in a little while, and just keep that sort of down a little bit 
I don't want to get too much water in our reservoir. We we've you know we we want to just have a little bit left over. Uh, the oxygen situation up here. Well, with them going everywhere else at the moment, like that, they're, they're slowly filling up. That's only because they're going everywhere else. Right, they're coming in here, and as I said, like, all steam has now suddenly blasted out. So it's it's solidifying over here. But we're getting all of these bits in here. They are being built. We're waiting on iron ore deliveries just in here. So we, we've got a, a few things that they need to go and get. Um, I'm chucking masses and masses of copper down here. Which is not really an ideal situation, but I'm sure it'll be fine. There's another printable. I'm going to take... Uh, K is sweep. And I'm going to sweep everything in the bottom there and just have them remove it all automatically. Another printable. Now, do I have another one for the night shift? Gains nighttime attribute bonuses right there. Okay, we'll go with you. Thank you very much. And then we'll go into duplicate skills in here. I've got one skill down there. So what do you got? You got grilling, cooking, you got improved strength, tidying. I'm gonna start working you up towards an exosuit first though, before we do anything else. Ada can go with critter ranching. Just because that's going to be useful to us. Uh Hassan, who's got zero morale whatsoever. That's kind of worrying, really. What are you doing that you are that bad on your general morale? Like, seriously, something must... I don't know what he's doing that his morale is that poor. But I'm a little bit concerned about that. Uh, there, there seems to be a lot going on here that, you know, and, and questions need to be answered. Now, how quickly are they going to be able to bring all the materials up there that we so desperately need? The suit rack is just five suits that we've got in here. There's no reason they shouldn't be able to get through it all. No reason at all, really. This little idea in here is working beautifully. Like, we've got... The, the temperature in here is just maintained continuously without fault. So we kind of want to do the same over on this side. Now, that's idle. It erupts in, a, erupts in another nine cycles. That one, steam temperature is just low. That's the only problem there, is the steam temperature is low. And this is where we want to get some more temp shift plates. So we want to go to utilities in here. Temp shift plates right there. I got 8,000 gold at the moment. Gold amalgam. Thinking maybe we should use iron for this. I got a lot of spare iron kicking around. And... Right, yeah, I'll just do the same that I've done previously. I'll do that. And uh, one more lot out there. Right. That is an awful lot of build requests that I've put in there. I'm hoping that they'll be able to cope with it and that they will be able to handle it. We will send... A little bit of water up there in a while so that we can increase the amount of steam that we've got in here. Uh, right now, there isn't really a lot that we can do about it. This steam is all going to come out while they go in and they deliver everything in here. I'm hoping they can do that within the next nine cycles. It does look promising. They've already gone and delivered a massive amount of iron in here already. 809, yeah, they're, they're delivering like five to 800 kilos at a time. Which is a, that is promising. Like, that, that is a really promising thing that's happening right there. So hopefully we'll be able to get that one up and running and then it'll be a little bit more consistent with producing steam and producing general temperature. Uh, a load of stuff happening down there. I should have, there should be loads of Weezwort seeds everywhere. Still waiting on this to be built, though. I've got a lot of the pipes have been put in place, but the actual hydroponic farms, they haven't been built yet. I've got a lot of steam in here, and it's still 310 kilos of steam. Like, I've got a lot of steam here, so I'm, I'm kind of hopeful... 
that we will be able to achieve my target on this little bit of keeping the temperature just low enough that the steam um, turns back into water again using the wheeze warts. Now, whether that's actually going to work, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. I'm trying to figure out where all the dupes are. I got... Okay, you are really, really, really slow. I think you need to have some acrobat. That's Marie right there. Chili surroundings. Uh, skills. Marie, 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 Marie. Are you the new per You're the new person. Your morale is through the roof. I think we need to get you... What? what uh, athletics. Where's athletics? Um, there's an athletics thing, isn't there? Let's have a look. Science minus three. Athletics is zero. Excuse me. Uh, two machinery, medicine, strength, strength, medicine, machinery, strength, plus 800 kilos of carrying power. With that one, that's a really good one. That is really good. Uh, two creativity, science, agriculture, construction, excavation, how do I get athletics? Do I just need you to run around a lot? I've got a feeling I need them. Uh, plus two athletics exosuit wearing. Plus two strength. Yeah. That's literally it. Is that they have, they have to go up there and then they get plus two. They get extra athletics once they've, they've gone and got that bit up there. So it, it just takes a little bit of time for them to build up to doing that. They're able to go and do the other stuff. I think it's also because uh, she doesn't have proper training for exosuits, which will slow her down quite a bit. Now, are you coming in here? Are you coming in to build some more temp shift plates? We want to keep going with that. We've got eight cycles left. We're doing all right. That's fine. So I've got some dupes over there that are busy running around and carrying stuff around. I've got a whole load of people looking after all of these. Which I'm hoping we will soon start to be able to move away from. I've got 500 kilos of granite left. I've got a whole load of stuff in here that I've told everybody to pick up. And then I've got the hydroponic farm up there. Uh, still about 300 kilos of steam. The steam, pr the steam pressure has dropped a bit. But it's not like the end of the world dropped. It's just dropped a bit. Okay, i got a whole load of meteorites falling, but I've also got a whole load of dupes up here doing a whole load of work here, and they seem to be doing a really good job. They've gone, they've rushed along, and they've repaired all the mesh tiles up here, and uh, they're doing a whole load of extra stuff as well. So at the moment, the dupes outside do seem to be doing a load of the work that they're supposed to do. Um, whether they will continue to keep doing all the work that they're supposed to do, I don't really know. We'll have to wait and see. I've got the metal tiles and that that I want to dig over here. I've got more stuff over there. I'm not going to worry too much about putting this in because they can't reach that at the moment. And I need them to kind of like build up the robots over here. Um, uh, the, the robo cleaners and, and stuff like that in order to make sure that everything is done properly. And then we want to dig this bit out in under here. So there's, there's a whole load of tasks for them to do up on that side. The steam vent in here. This one's not currently erupting. You're doing just grand. Everything is fine in under here. We've got the water just sort of cycling in through. I could end up putting a bit more water in here. Because I don't have a huge amount of steam in there. But right now, I'm quite happy with what that's doing. We've got a little bit of natural gas building up in there, but there's not enough for me to worry about. You know, it's not worth, I don't think, trying to filter any of it out. Um, a lot of water around here because the steam from in there is obviously has like gone and dissipated a lot. It's come out through these two doors. It's a bit of a nuisance, but I mean, it's not the end of the world. We won't worry about that too much. We've got seven cycles before the volcano erupts. They're doing quite a good job of getting all the temp shift plates in. They can't get these down here because I've got a double step on the ladder, which I just realised. So I want to put another one in there. I drop that one down there, and then they should be able to go through and get all of the rest of these put in. So they're still 
building it. Still working on that. The other bits down here are absolutely fine. We're not far off of our next dupe as well. It's going to be a, a third one on... and Yeah, a third one. So we've got three more to come. That's going to take us up to 30 dupes in here in total. 30 duplicates working our farm. That is going to be absolutely fantastic. There is a shovel egg right there. Is he stuck up on... I think that one is stuck on this platform now. That's good. That's a good thing, that is. And we've got a whole load of eggs in here as well. Right, there's, there's food in here. We've got a decent supply of food. Now, you right in there, that shove vole, mesh tile shove vole right there. Wrangle priority nine like that. Hopefully, he won't go very far. Someone I'm hoping will come along and wrangle him. There we go. Wrangle. Have that one out, and he's wrangled up on the top. So now, if you could bring him down and dump him in here, that would be absolutely fantastic. I want to cram as many of them in here as I possibly can. That would be brilliant. But... We haven't. He's trussed up and he's now unreachable. That's not helpful. You do grab him from the top. That's not helpful at all. Right, there's our next printable. Have we got anyone else that can come? Actually, I'll tell you what. Let's look at the schedule in here. Who have we got? I got uh, 4, 8, 12, 16. I've got 17 on the day shift and I've got 10 on the night shift. So, ideally, we want the rest of our dupes to be on the night shift, along with the ones that we've got. Uh, increased science and uh, narcoleptic farts frequently. Right, well, you're not very helpful. I got a, a eight pakus right here. That's food. Or I get some glass. 200 kilos of glass. Uh, I'm going to take the glass, actually. I've got plenty. I have got plenty of food. We got nearly half a million calories available. So having the glass is probably a rather helpful thing for us. This is also a rather helpful thing. We we keep that going. Let's, well, let's say keep it going. There's nothing for me to do other than just like leave it go. Uh, this out here, they haven't gone and brought the copper for this wire. Kind of thinking gold. I, I mean, I've got copper up here. I've, well, I've got iron, actually. That seems, actually, I think that's the biggest problem, is that I've got a lack of copper. I mean, I've got copper in here. I've actually got... Ooh. Okay, I've got a lot of copper in here. There is a very large amount of copper in there. Never mind that. How's this one? Ooh. This is looking better. Now we've got the fa the farm is building. Right, they're building the farm a little better in here. I do kind of want to keep this... Like, the steam pressure in here has dropped significantly now. And I don't really like how significantly that steam pressure has dropped. Um, manual airlock maintains pressure between areas. The problem is when you open the airlock, it doesn't... So it doesn't, like, do it continuously. Functions... Mechanized. Maybe the mechanized airlock would be better up there. Maybe I should put a mechanized one in. Uh, I've got a couple of mechanized. They, they do go through pretty quick. Maybe that's what I should be using. Mechanized airlock on that. Where have I got... I've, there's the power there. I've got heavy watt wire right in there. Power... Heavy watt, conductive wire, right here. Uh, building out of... Yeah, I'll build that out of copper. Because I have got masses and masses of copper available. So we'll make sure that is built out of copper. We'll run that up here like this. Uh, we will go base, mechanized airlock. Okay, I've got a... Deconstruct that one. And then i got to go and put another one in. This one here is going to be a Priority 9 build from Gold Amalgam. It's going to go right into there. If you can just come out through. Someone is... Yeah, you see how fast that is moving out through there. I'm going to build 
like an extra bit in here. We're going to need to get more water flowing out of here as well. There, right. They're, they're now removing it. Pop you in there on a priority nine build. Power over here. Heavy watt conductive wire. It's already a priority nine build. There, uh, priority... Right, that's all on five. So let's change that. There. Down there like that. Right. Build that in there, if you please, sir. Ma'am. Whoever you might be. Why have I... Invalid building location. Can I not put a heavy watt conductive wire into the door? Is it going to tell me that I can't do that? I think it is. Right. Well, if it's going to tell me I can't do that, I'm going to do something else here instead. I'm going to go... And I'm going to get uh, power, and I'm going to have a heavy watt joint plate here. It will stay as a priority nine, like that. I'm going to rotate that one round, and that one's going to go... Yeah, I can't build it into there. So this one instead is going to go here. Like that. And they'll have to dig that out a little bit. And then I'll also, myself, dig those six out there. And then I will go to base. And I will go to tile. Is this where I want to go? I'm pretty sure this is where I want to go. I want to put tile here like this. Gonna go across the top there. It's gonna seal it in. I've got actually I've got Weezwort up there that I'm gonna want to get to, so we're gonna have to get to that. So I will put you across here, and then I will put a ladder in here like this. Like that. Uh, take that one off. Dig that bit out there. Right. So far, so good, and I want to change the priority round on this so that I've got everything coming in as a maximum priority on here. Oops, no. Maximum priority on all of it. Right. Right, I've got that, but I'm a bit concerned that it's going to end up being a different priority on there. So, no insulated liquid pipe. It's not been built yet. So, I prioritize that one there. I've got the granite coming in. I've got the granite going in on there. And I've got more bits coming in here. So, we've got this all needs to be built up round. And then I also want to build a floor in here that is on the correct priority. I'll build the floor down there like that. I want to dig out that one. Like that. Uh, now, how am I going to do this bit? I need to build another door, but I also need to build this. Heavy watt joint plate, steam turbine, uh, power transformer... Limits power to 1,000 watts. That one needs to go... There. That's got to go there, like that. Right, go and build all of that in. It's fine. The mechanised airlock, heavy watt conductive wire, cancel that build. Then that ladder, heavy watt wire, deconstruct that one. You're built. Then I go to base over here. I've, I've got a master plan on this, don't worry. There is an actual master plan on this. Just normal, standard wire right here. We'll take gold amalgam with this one. 
That one's got to go out and up. No. All right, cancel that. There's a bit of wire there. Deconstruct that one. A nine priority. That bit's got to go. And then I want to go here. No, wait. Uh, power. Uh, wire. Wire bridge. I want to put a wire bridge there, like that. If I just remove that bit of... Actually, I don't need to remove that bit of cable. Well, now it's gone. Right. I want to put a wire bridge right there, like that. That one is... That is a priority nine. That's good. And then I'm going to go to power here. And I'm going to wire. And I want to join that one up to there. And then I want to join that one into there. And then I want to build a second door back over this way. This power transformer is kind of in the wrong place. Essentially. Right, that's fine. I can work around that bit. So then you will also go... Right, that comes out of the bottom there. Uh, so this one needs to go over to here. I want to put down here somewhere. No, nope, base. Mechanized airlock. That's got to go into there. So I want to dig... Those two, that one there is good deconstruct. That one there is good deconstruct. Damage overheated. That'll be that one down there. To worry about the rest of it overheating, that is the one down the bottom. I'm building this up here. Oh, I see. There's no ladder going up there, so I need to put a ladder up on this bit here so that they can get up there. Ideal. Yeah, that's the that's the top priority. As long as I get the right priority on all of this, we will be fine. There. Dig that bit out into there. If I can build this ladder up here, then I've got kind of the last little bit that I want. There's nothing else that I really need to worry about. No seed selected in here. We now go this way and we put what seed in there? plant. Oh, that's why. What? There. That's why. It wasn't, like, planted correctly. Uh, you right there. Take that one out. Uh, here. Dig those two off. That one as well. That is a reachable build. Yep, ideal. We can remove that uh, here. Remove that line. And that line as well. We will be able to reach it from the ladder. So long as they don't jump over here or do anything really monumentally stupid like that. Like dupes are so well known for doing. Uh, everything so far looks like it'll be alright. Oh, then... And that one's immediately died. But copy settings. Oh, no, it hasn't died. Copy settings, and that should help things to start cooling down. I've got one dig errand there. That needs to be... Well, unfortunately, that's all we've got time for for a little while. We need to let the replicants rest. So if you've enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And I am just going to drag out this farewell just a tiny little bit. Just so that there is enough space and time on the screen to put up a couple lots of you absolutely wonderful supporters of the channel. You should be seeing some of your names coming up now. So until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.